Sports Extra. Welcome to our final Friday Sports Extra of the season, and what a show it is. Conference tournaments continue in the Big Ten and SEC, but our top story shines on high school ball and Cesar Valier, who's making their first ever state tournament appearance. The Red Devils meeting six-ranked Madison in the semis this afternoon, but SV hardly playing like rookies in Peoria. Early on, Miles Tinsley, the steal, and lay in the other way. And Madison showing some of that athleticism they're known for. And the no look pass here for the bucket. But the Red Devils remain unfazed. Inside to their workhorse, Justin Maddie. Red Devils were up six after the lay in. And Maddie, a double double for him on the day 29 points, 15 boards. Teammate Dane Eubanks also attacking the hoop here. The tough bucket, no foul. Later, Eubanks going in for another layup. And Maddie cleaning things up. And let's take you to the second half, and Eubanks a little later. His patented look the other way, one of three Red Devils in double figures with 12. Then in the third, it's Tinsley to Maddie on the fast break. Cesar Valier up 45-31. When Madison double-teamed Maddie, TJ Eubanks made him pay. One of five three-pointers for him on the day. And Cesar Valier led the whole game as they win convincingly 58 to 40 the final. So Maddie with a double double this afternoon, 29 and 15 performance. Meanwhile, TJ Eubanks nails five three pointers to finish with 15 points. And afterward, the team talked. I knew we had played well and kind of had to control the game. And, and we, we've got a lot of good seniors, and, and I think that's what you know it comes down to. This time of year, you don't win postseason games without senior leadership. Um, I think that, that was a critical component for us all as well. Just now sinking in, you know, just thinking that what we've worked for all year, ever since even our freshman year, and even in junior high, and now it's finally coming through. We finally get to play on the, on the uh, Bradley Center for a chance to uh, take home the hardware. It was so surreal looking at the fans, just cheering, and just to know that we were actually playing for a state championship. It's just it's amazing. So tomorrow at 2 p.m., the Red Devils will meet Salt Fork in the finals. The Storm a 10-point winner over Eastland in the other semi today. And for more on one of today's standout performances, Matt Bierman has more from Peoria. The game plan was simple for the Cesar Valier Red Devils. Give the ball to Justin Matty. And boy, did he deliver a double-double 29 points and 15 rebounds. Well, he gets a lot of times he gets quiet points. You don't realize you look up at the board and he's got, uh, you know, he's got 20, 25 points a night. And uh, uh, he's so consistent and he does brings it every night, every night, every night does that. It makes it tough on teams to try to prepare for that. He's he's a low down low. If we can get him the ball 15 feet and in and he gets in his hands, I'm thinking 90% of the time it's going in. And he's just got a great touch. And if it wasn't for all, uh, all our guards that can get him the ball, I mean, if we, if we can get him the ball, it's he goes in. I've been playing with him for a while, and, uh, you know, uh, he's a heck of a basketball player. I couldn't do it without my teammates. Just give me the ball, and TJ's outside shooting, helps out a lot. And just kept taking it strong to the hole. And after today's performance, Matty now has two double-doubles in the playoffs. That's not too bad for a kid that didn't start playing basketball until the eighth grade. Reporting with the state final bound Cesar Valier boys basketball team, Matt Bierman, News 3 Sports. All right, thanks, Matt. Also today in between games, it was Woodlawn freshman Gabe Owens winning the 1A three-point shootout, while Century senior Chris Baker captured the 1A slam dunk competition. And earlier tonight, Harrisburg's Kane Sheldon finished second overall in the 2A three-point finals. Now the 2A championship tomorrow, Manuel will meet the winner of Robinson and Hales Franciscan, which is being played right now in the fourth quarter as Peoria Manuel edges Bree Central by one point today. And in 3A at the Centralia Championship tonight, it was Cahokia on fire from downtown, 12 trays in the game to score the 11-point win. Well, to college ball, Illinois on the bubble for the NCAA tourney, picking on 17th ranked Wisconsin in the Big Ten quarterfinals today. The squad split two meetings in the regular season. Michael Jordan cheering for the Illini and his son Jeff. Second half, DJ Richardson dropping from downtown. Illini up 16 after the tray. But 40 seconds to go in this game, Wisconsin's Trayvon Hughes. Get to know him because he's going to come up with two crucial threes here. The lead all of a sudden down to just three and Illinois would seal this thing at the line. Jeff Jordan sealing it at the charity stripe as Illinois moves on to face top seed Ohio State tomorrow with a four point win. Well, other Big Ten, ten tourney action, former Saluki coach Matt Painter and Purdue taking on Northwestern. First half, Wildcats 
up eight. Drew Crawford going to drain the three. Northwestern up 17 to six, but the Boilermakers would retake the lead. Second half up for Jawan Johnson with a strong jam there. Purdue up six and under a minute to play. Northwestern down four. Crawford's going to find Jeremy Nash. Hits the huge three. Cats cut it to one, 62-61. But next, Purdue possession breaking the press. Chris Kramer takes it in for the hoop and the harm as Purdue advances. 69 to 61. Well, SEC tournament. Kentucky taking on Alabama. Winner moves on to the conference semis. First half was all Alabama. Tied off the steal. Darnell Dodson with a miss, but to Michael Green there to clean things up. Bama up nine after the slam, but Wildcats would come back. Second half, down two. John Wall crossover lane and a trip to the line. Wildcats up one. After the free throw, diehard Ashley Judd cheering her cats on. Then under 10 to go, Kentucky up eight now. Wall there for the fast break cleanup for the cats. They go on to win 73-67. to Well, other basketball news, Saluki women's basketball player Stephanie Neptune was named MVC Newcomer of the Year today in Neptune's first and last season at SIU. The senior was the only Valley player to average a double-double, averaging just under 11 rebounds and 12 points a game. She garnered Newcomer of the Week honors five times this season, and she finished with 13 double-doubles on the season. So congratulations to her. And with that, we say good night. Susser Valier, don't forget, and Salt Fork will tip off in the 1A championship tomorrow at 2 p.m. And of course, I'll have highlights and reaction from Peoria tomorrow night starting at 5. Until then, get out and enjoy your weekend.